Hi, today we're going to be taking some of our basic shapes and drawing and incorporating them into a simple still life. So first thing we're going to do is draw a circle, a nice big circle, kind of a little off center on your paper. From there, off to the left of the circle, we're going to draw a rectangle-ish square, a little bit more rectangle than a square, I guess. Make it 3D. And then we're going to draw a horizon line. And a horizon line is the line which separates the foreground, which will be in the front, to the background. When you put in your horizon line, the big thing you want to keep in mind is wherever your line is, whether it be down here or up here, that's fine. As long as when you're drawing across that line, it's intersecting all of your objects that are in the foreground. Okay. If you were to put your line down here, it would seem like they're floating on air. If you put it up here, it seems uh, just out of sorts. So, as long as it's intersecting. The next thing we're going to do is add a cylinder up here. A cylinder, start with your squishy shape. Squishy circle, bring down, and bring down. This is going to be a pumpkin. And notice I have the cylinder going into the circle that's going to be a pumpkin. You don't want it to end up here. And that's the beginning. It's a good foundation to start our still life. We're going to start um, by creating this pumpkin, make it look more realistic. I'm going to put two little dots here, and this is going to be where all of my ridges for the pumpkin start and begin and end. And I'm going to make, again, a squishy circle right in the middle. And notice I'm going below the line here. Make it look more natural. It's the first line. I'm going to make another ridge over here. I'm going to come off this point. I'm going to come up and around, down below this line, and back in. It looks like a C. And then a third one. We have the left side of the pumpkin done. Let's do the right side. Same thing, but opposite way. Backward C's. Let me do a couple lines looking like it's going off the back. And then we're going to erase this. And make that It'll look a little bit more natural. Okay. And that's all there is to it for the pumpkin. Over here, this is going to be a bushel of apples. So let's just make it look like it's a wooden bushel by adding a line here. Add a couple lines over here. Now this is like a wooden old bushel, so it doesn't need to be super straight. And then for apples, you don't want them to be lined up in a row like this. First of all, those are too small. What you want to do is just to make them look natural. And this isn't going to be holding a lot of apples. This is the size of my bushel. You can make your crate larger if you'd like. Um, I'm doing kind of half circles. They're kind of overlapping. You never want an even number, so I think I'll show another one kind of going up there. And there's your apple cart. Again, erase your extra lines from your basic sheet. They look like they're sitting inside. The third thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add barn boards down here. And I'm going to show you a neat trick for perspective. So get a, what we're going to do is create a vanishing point. A vanishing point it's actually more used so in landscape drawings, but you can still use it in a still life, and it automatically creates perspective for you. It makes it easy for you to um, make things look like they're going further away. So our vanishing point, if you were to draw this line um, all the way across this horizon line, would be right here. I'm going to put a little dot. And what you're going to do is take your ruler, and you want the, this part of the ruler always to be on the dot, and I'm just going to draw a line. I'm going to go down a little. I'm just kind of swinging it. Just keep drawing your lines. Now again, these are barn boards, so notice I'm not measuring in between them because it doesn't really matter if they're evenly spaced because my barn boards are going to be funky or original. Whoops. And continue that all the way across. The next thing we're going to be doing is shading. Right now we've got our all our basin and 
it looks pretty cool and funky. You can tell that those barn boards are going back, but now let's make it look 3D by adding shading and cast shadows.